Hello Collective, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate them all. All right, you guys, let's see what the messages are for you guys. Please keep in mind that this is general, so the messages may or may not resonate with you. Take the messages that resonate with you, your personal situations, and leave the rest. Okay, so we have despair, okay? So somebody could be in despair right now, all right, about maybe their living situation. Maybe they can't find a job. Somebody could be 32, all right? Maybe they're in despair about a love choice they made, privileged ladies. Maybe somebody's in despair that somebody's going to choose a privileged lady. Lover is a privileged lady. So this could be somebody ex, somebody's, uh, someone that someone is leaving. Somebody may be in despair that who they're going towards is a privileged lady. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Despair. Temperance, yeah. Somebody really in despair that somebody want right is going to reconcile with somebody. It's like, oh my gosh. Like somebody really is in despair that somebody's gonna reconcile with someone. So if somebody about to reconcile with you, somebody is thinking about you. I'm hearing you always on my mind. This is like a tower moment to a Scorpio, a Sagittarius. Uh they could have they could be uh the same person or um this is just the energy. Okay. Man, somebody's shocked that a cycle is really over. Somebody's choosing their empress or something like that. Somebody really tried to cause a delay for this person to make this decision. Yeah, they, you really going to be with that empress for real? Okay. Or like I said, <laughs> it's like, wow. So there's an undertone here of defeated. Somebody feels defeated. If this is like a person that was doing everything to keep a man kind of energy, um... My best advice is to keep a man and want to be kept. Somebody doesn't want to be kept by some an individual. Somebody is not attracted to an individual. Um, somebody feels like it's because of their work ethics. Okay. Somebody feels like somebody's not a go-getter or something. And somebody that is tired of those type of people. So you could be any divine feminine that's single and somebody is coming towards you. And their person from their perspective is... Yeah, and I don't know how they found out about you unless this is somebody that you dealt with before, an ex of some sorts. Okay. Hmm. Mm, that's interesting. And somebody's coming towards you because of a kind of energy. I'm hearing the good outweigh the bad. In the situation. So there was some sort of good that's going to outweigh the bad. If there was some hiccups in this connection with this person that's coming towards you, it's more good than bad or something, y'all. Um, yeah. Everybody needs to have that lesson here uh, to make sure you're providing for self. So this is like, like I said, you may not even know this person, okay? Um, for some of y'all, this could be a new person that's coming towards you. For others, this is um, somebody that is currently, what's the word I'm looking for? They want to improve their life, okay? I don't know, some switch or something has clicked on to masculines right now at this time. I don't know. And for somebody, if somebody was with somebody because they look good or they was into that fast money and that kind of lifestyle, they don't want that person no more. You know, somebody could be like a, a bartender is what I'm hearing. Okay, inspiring artist. This could be an inspired artist that's coming towards you. Somebody really is like, what? But we got a messenger here. 
Yeah, consciousness. Okay, so it's like intuitively somebody knows that somebody is gonna find something. like and whoever she is, she need to just you know do what she got to do for herself. Yeah. Yeah, because somebody knows somebody is a leader. I don't know. Somebody knows see that you're in some sort of leadership position or you are a leader. Message and leadership. Messenger is a leader in a leader. Something like that. Yeah, we got privilege. Somebody is seeing this leader has a privileged lifestyle or something like that. And there's gossip, okay, about that. Or will be. Yeah. Somebody is objective with to change someone's mind about somebody. And it didn't work. <laughs> no. It didn't work. Okay. Somebody wanted to change somebody's mind about you, collective. What's the message here? Yep. <laughs> Conscious. So somebody is consciously aware somebody just wanted somebody to change their mind about you or something like that. Yep. Wow. Somebody knows somebody is royalty. <laughs> Confirmation. Yeah. It's no, it's like if there was a, ever a doubt here. It's like, nah, man. That's the one. That's 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 somebody from a royal blood. Like somebody knows somebody is royalty. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. And if somebody's trying, oh no, they can't be because of X, Y, and Z. Look at the da 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 da. Okay, like they had lived when they was this and that. Somebody intuitively, they like, nah, man. Look, I can't. Somebody is real, real here. We got body here, like cause you ain't. It's just you. Something about you, whoever you are, is in. It's in you. You. We got royalty kind of energy, body, and be, be you. You being you. This is somebody um, that knows that you're. Um, they can tell you're a good quality. There it is. Thank you, spirit. Good quality man or a woman, just by how you take care of yourself. Or something like that. They're consciously aware of something. Maybe a, a, royal, a royal people or people that are in, that have high accolades look like something. Maybe it got something to do with appearance or something. But somebody intuitively knows something. Consciousness. All right. Let's see. What's the message here? Oh, no. We got expectations as is forgiveness. Hardships, optimistic. Hmm. So somebody was hoping that they could cause some hardships, but they couldn't. So because this could be somebody that was trying to tear you down. Okay. It didn't happen. So they know it got something to do with who you are. This ain't just something was not given to you. Something was, it's you. Something like that. Okay. Yep. Somebody know the prophecy has been fulfilled. Whatever the prophecy was here is happening. They're consciously aware this is a part of your Akashic records here. Okay. Yep. Something here. You survived something. They know that you survived some sort of something because of something you said. Could have caused some sort of hardships or somebody know you by some sort of communication. There is something that's hard to communicate with someone or um, you, you, you survive something. Absence of location. Somebody was addicted to causing drama here to your life, but now someone is at your service. Huh. Objective limelight. You reached your goals or something? Something is being seen. 
because of your things, limelight and things, something that you may own. Somebody know you're in the limelight because of things and you reach some sort of level of mastery yeah, by yourself or something. What's this? Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit. And this is really got somebody in their head because somebody is going to wreck. We got disconnect here. Wow. Yeah. Prophecy here. Yeah, because I said something about, something about your gifts and talents and self-care. Something is within you. We got prophecy you be in the entertainment business. Somebody knew you were going to be in the entertainment business. And once you reach that level, you they wouldn't be connected to you. Mm. Somebody know you are, yeah, you made it to some sort of spiritual level here, collective yeah, because of something, some appearances. <laughs> this is haunting somebody. This is somebody that could have knocked you down and thought you wasn't. Ish. You ain't over shit. Mm -mm. You ain't going. You ain't it. And this is literally haunting them. Your appearances here. Something is haunting them because of how something looks. Appearance and haunted. Important. Yeah, they didn't know that you was royalty. Or something. Maybe somebody didn't believe that you was royal or that you was wealthy or I don't know if they knew your status as far as spiritually. Okay, I'm not just talking about just mundane. All right. Before anything can happen on this planet, it has to happen up there first. Okay. And somebody could have. Because the way something looked at the time of some sorts, they psh, like you ain't. But somebody had already knew, consciously was aware of a prophecy about you. That's why they could have tried to disconnect you from your purpose. But now somebody knows. Like something was true that they knew about you. It's like somebody knowing that you was going to be a billionaire or you was going to be the first billionaire in such and such and such. And um, they like, man, nah, because they seen you putting crayons up your nose <laughs> when you was littler. And they like, hell, this motherfucker ain't going to be nothing. They won't be. Or you had some sort of learning disability of some sort. They didn't never think the thought that you know, or that you just lit, like you were too soft or not like somebody thought you were naive because of your childlike nature, your happiness or the way you smile at people or your optimism in life or like when bad stuff is happening, you try to, you know, like, hey, well, if you look at the bright side of such, and they like, what the fuck? Like, the house burnt down. Like, how were you? How was the, the bright? Like, we survived. Like, <laughs> it's one of those kind of energies. Um, and somebody like, man, like, they could have all, they could have been counted you out of some sorts. But as they take a step back here, um, they see something. <laughs> they see something 100% clear now. All right, hmm, did I miss something? Somebody is like, did I miss something? Like, when did, how did I miss this? How did they miss this, collective? How didn't they see this before? That's what I'm hearing. Why didn't I see this before? Yeah, this is somebody you could have been very loving and kind to. How come they didn't see that before? That she was connected to a very... Powerful energy, or you are the very powerful energy on this planet. Like, what the fudge, pickles? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. They can't sacrifice a reincarnation. And if they try to, it's this death to mortal. So something could have happened. They like, oh my god, because they was craving your energy or something. Somebody's craving you now that they know it's like you. I, I promise you, if you came into the room with some people 
confirmation that you may have thought um, was against you or something like that in some sorts of ways. Uh, they would look at you differently. Maybe they would just stare at you or people already do that. But I don't know why this person is so stressed out that someone wants to reconcile or everything in your life is balanced. It's bringing despair to someone. Oh, that's why. Because whoever she is, she's spending her last day in the light. A sudden shift. Some sort of ending. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Look at that. Look how the cards are parted. So we got the creator. God, mother, father, catalyst. Mort mortals, fragile. Death will come. To people that psychically has hacked you something some endings is happening i don't know how deep these psychic attacks was i don't know if this was like on a level of strategy and this could have been one of the peoples that tried so this is why oh my gosh damn talk about um so this could be somebody that like i said somebody's gonna reconcile with you but she not going to make it. Whoever this is, maybe something is actually ending, ending, ending for her. She could have got really sick or something when she came for you. Mm -hmm. This could be your mother or father or somebody that they was connected to, mother or father. Or this is the child's mother or father that they got going on, child, honey. What else? She spent her last thing in the light here. This was surprising to someone. Alright, what happened? What is this? Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit. What is the message? People are talking about it. We got a lot of um, sparrows. People could be talking about that. Whoa. Yeah, because of some sort of ritual they did. Yeah. Okay. Some sort of energy release or something happened. Oh, yeah. Because they tried to connect to you. They could have did some sort of ritual, y'all. 13 is significant. The death card, yeah. Could be a Scorpio. Don't have to be. But this is like um, ending, ending, ending or something. Because of a ritual that they did to try to connect your energy to their energy so that they could siphon your energy. Or because they wanted to take your place in her type of stuff or something like that for some of y'all. Yeah. It's like you're getting, they wanted, they craved eternal youth. They wanted your energy. It's like, um... You know the old decrepit witches that you see on TV, <laughs> and maybe at the um at the bottom of the bottom of whatever energy they on, right? And they always look crazy, and like they take baths in young women's blood to keep stay young, kind of energy. It's like one of those chicks. Yeah, but she connected to the wrong person. She tried it. <laughs> yeah, he or she tried it. Yep. This person is definitely dealing with some personal challenges at this time. Yeah. Because your energy, it, it, it backfired. Let's just say it backfired. Okay. With your essence, you being who you are. Uh, reincarnation. They tried to sacrifice reincarnation. And it says it twice. So definitely some reincarnation energy here. We got religion. This religious person may have personal evidence uh, that somebody has went mad, like literally, um, and they are begging for empathy or somebody's compassion. Okay, like I'm sorry for 
influencing somebody to do something that they knew they wasn't supposed to do. All right. So because something is spreading throughout their whole whatever they was into, whatever they was on, because these are outsiders of yours. Like I say here, we got entertainment turning. You have disconnected from the out the outside world, so you're in a whole nother world. That's just like you know how we watch TV. And we see our famous, our favorite stars on TV, and we, you know, whatever. But you know, you can't knock on a door and sit with them, and it's like that energy. Like somebody know they it don't matter and like even even with those people that have became famous and you know or you know people know them and they got bomb songs at the top of the charts and stuff of this nature like there are some of their family don't need they don't even deal with some of their family and it's just like their family is on the outside of them too so it's like just like it's somebody oh well we cousins from the like we never had a relationship when before i was who i am so why are you trying to like it's kind of suspect somebody may be feeling like yeah that's kind of that with that suspect that that somebody wanted to do that but this is a person that could have just wanted to be you collective and they wanted the life you lived they wanted the man you had they wanted your person they wanted this they wanted that and they have to pay for that whatever they did they know it's something sort of prophecy being fulfilled right now yep the truth is revealed. Consciousness. And this is talking real shit. Yeah. The truth has been revealed or it will be. People like what you got to say. Okay. It has been revealed. Something's been revealed. Yep. And this spiritual hater is feeling trapped now. They knew that this was going to happen. Somebody was going to find out. What was the prophecy here? Prophecy. Give me that prophecy. What's the prophecy here? We got an eavesdropper. Somebody is spying on you. Okay. Somebody could be peeping time, looking over your shoulder, listening to your private conversations. So somebody that is realizing something is happening when it comes to your seventh house. All right, the situation involves someone's partnerships, marriage, business matters. It could be an enemy, depending on the situation. This person that's stalking you and, act, and trying to keep a poker face about it, okay? What's the prophecy? Vanessa, okay? So, smooth talker, long distance, and marriage. So this is somebody that's at a distance here that is watching you in your fourth house. They see how secure you are. You're rooted in, you know, your comfort and heritage, your ancestors, one's housing and comfortability kind of energy. Somebody definitely was trying to find out more information about something here. Finessing energy. Somebody thought that they was going to be able to finesse you here. Somebody at a distance could always be high. Okay. Maybe always under the influence here. Or is seeing someone like that. What's this? Prophecy. One more. You found out something that somebody was planning to do. Prophecy. Heartbreaker. Yeah, somebody winded up. You could have said something to someone and they broke their own damn heart. Projection. Yep. Oh my gosh crazy so we got heartbreaker a person who can break hearts easily everyone wants them but not everybody can have them yeah so they felt like by the if you got here into this energy that they wouldn't be able to come back around to you or they wouldn't be able to get next to you and they wind up getting a heart broken when you walked away this person could have started projecting negative energy towards you here projections to your seventh house yeah, they started projecting bad energy to your business. All right. And it was on it backfired one side. Something could have backfired on this person. Off the grid, fake friends had a hidden agenda to copy your style. Somebody wanted to be more than friends to try to control something here. And they're getting receiving karma here. Yeah. Somebody's hooked on your high vibrational energy. <laughs> okay. And they wanted some of it. Because maybe that's how they was able to get men for some of y'all. But the six, your sixth house is what's stopping them. Entertainment. What one does on a routine. Their skills. Their talents here. I feel like 
your employment you could work in entertainment of course communications maybe you work on social media or something like that so there's rules to stuff entertainment your sixth house is all about being in the limelight okay six what's the entertainment Ex lover knows that you're too intelligent and they are so pissed off that you're a role model. Earth Angel <laughs> is very confident, okay? Yeah, they're woke. You knew that somebody was trying to copy your energy or copy your style or something like that, whatever this is. But entertainment, your ex lover is new that you was very intelligent, though. Whoever your ex lover is, they knew that who you were basically <laughs> that you was an earth angel and you was going to wind up being a role model that's the prophecy okay and your light your key yeah you keep shining and your light is irritating their their demons they like oh my gosh they met they match meeting your match this person could be smoking looking at you like you are so gorgeous and that stresses them out because you're so gorgeous <laughs> And they have no attachment to you or they disconnected from you. What's disconnected? What's disconnected, please? Uh-oh. Yeah, you being detached and disconnected here. Yeah, because it's like this person got caught in the act here under the influence. We got a toxic connection here. So you could have had a toxic relationship with somebody here, yo. And they stressed out here because you you did you're gorgeous and you unimpressed, and this is stressing somebody out. You don't care about the mundane. You feel like somebody feel like you're not interested in being with them or giving somebody a second chance. This is stressing somebody out because you're beautiful and you don't want them or something. And you can be very disconnected from somebody. All right. But this person is thinking about you. And I don't know how or where this other chick coming at. That's what I'm feeling. Or this is their energy. They could have really tried to tear you down. I say that. Forget. Take away the y'all coming back around or somebody coming towards you. Somebody could have really, your ex could have really tried to tear you into smithereens. All right? And the prophecy here is you were the one that was brokenhearted at first. Now they are. Now they're, it's like they broke their own heart. They could have treated you in a way. They never... They didn't know. Maybe they didn't know that your sixth house had everything to do with you being in the entertainment business and being a role model because you're an earth angel. They knew it was like you could have, like this could have been an ex that they felt like you were like, that you would irritate them, you know, by your optimism or your, your good heartedness that irritated them. Like you want to work things out. You want to talk about stuff. You want to, you know, like, well, what's the problem? You didn't go toxic if like say for that wasn't your first response like say they did something your first response wasn't picking up a knife to pop all their tires and running up to their job and throwing shit off like you wasn't that person your first response was like well what's going on can we talk about it um maybe you should da -da 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 -da. and that irritated them like why are you like that like that is annoying like why I just cheated on you. Why are you not trying to fight the other girl? Or I just I just flirted with a chick in front of you to play, make you feel some sort of way. Like, why ain't you getting mad? Like, why are you coming to me? Like, why aren't you mad at her? Like, this is that kind of energy this person was on. But they, they didn't know that you was an earth angel. So that's why you didn't respond in a way of a toxic person that they could have probably went towards or thought was better than you because it was more adventure. <laughs> It was more adventure there or something like that. That's what I'm hearing. And you were boring, I guess. Your subtle ways of handling dispute was like boring. All right. If you weren't yelling and cussing and fighting and ready to kill them, then that means you didn't care. All right. 
Maybe you were in that energy. Maybe you got into that energy and was like, you know what? It's not me. I'm leaving. I'm leaving with that energy. I'm not, I'm not about to do this to myself. I'm stressed out. I'm not happy. You chose love. Okay? Something like that. They treated you like that because they felt like you weren't good enough or something. Or you didn't um, have enough for them or something like that. It was weird. It was weird. It was weird. That's what I'm feeling. Something was really weird. <laughs> what is the message here? Somebody could have got stolen away from some sort of sex magic energy. Maybe somebody seduced them allegedly, right? Let's see. What's the message? Also, something about projections. They're realizing their projections now. That they really are outside of you. They really don't have no connection to you. Somebody, um, I remember I explained the, the projection tactics. You know, people project the negative energy. I mean, really hard, just whatever. And they wondering why their life didn't, you know, is, is fucked up or why something is happening. It's because they're not realizing that they're outside of, that's like somebody projecting energy to somebody that is like all the way, like it, it never reached that person. It was always backfiring on them. This is why maybe they can't find a job. Maybe they, they are in poverty of some sorts. Uh, maybe they don't, um, whatever. It's they're realizing that those projections was for them, right? And they know that your projection, how you view life, Okay, how somebody, if you wake up every morning, your view on life is doom and gloom, then that's what you're going to experience. Somebody need to change their consciousness. Okay, they need to change. That's the way you can change your life. Like, whatever somebody was on, they need to not do that no more. And it's, yeah, somebody's really all in their feelings. This is could have even been somebody that act like they didn't care about you or they didn't care y'all not talking. They didn't care we not that. Like, they care a lot. Like, what the F, okay? They care a lot. So they was in their feelings when they were spreading these rumors. And, yeah, a lot of conflict and confusion could have happened because somebody was like, well, how did you know your life purpose or... How did you know what your life purpose was? They're starting to see, like, you really do cleanse your space really a lot. Something was you were cleansing your space, and they was jumping to conclusions that you was doing magic on them. What? <laughs> so somebody could have saw a candle lit and thought, you know, oh, they was doing magic on me. Or you trying to hurt me or something weird. And they started doing bad stuff to you. I don't know. I have no idea, honey. But somebody really thought wrong. Or maybe somebody told them that. But somebody in their feelings right now. Because they realized that something was only a rumor. <laughs> oh my. What else? Or they could have been in their feelings spreading rumors. What else, Holy Spirit? Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. They had their funds because you getting a lot of money right now. Your life leveling up. You could be getting a lot of money. This really got them in their feelings because of your financial status. They like, what? Yeah. A lot of this information leaving somebody shook that all they blocked themselves. Yeah, they caused blockages and obstacles for themselves. You left the past behind because somebody was being childish and the secrets is revealed. It's going to be revealed by Christmas that, yeah, the grass was only greener because it was fake. Them astral projecting here. Lying, saying somebody was codependent. So somebody could have been saying that you were codependent. You were having a hard time letting somebody go. You were, it's like, no, you was focused. But why would they feel like somebody finessed them? Hmm. What else? Yeah, because that ain't changing. They like, what? So it was only a rumor that something was going to come to an end? 
Yeah. They like, so wait, somebody, uh, money ain't going in? This person not obsessed with me? We got large lump sums of money. Transformation in the reverse. That's not going to come to an end. You wasn't missing no pieces. Somebody wasn't obsessed with somebody. They like, what the? I don't know why this person thought that you were obsessed with them. It's strange. Maybe they're sitting back like, of course you're not. You're so fucking gorgeous. Like, you can have anybody you want. Now you got the, the stability to come with it, too. You wasn't missing them. So missing a major piece would be somebody to be in your life that needed you needed to help. They may have thought you needed them or needed someone to get to the position that you were in. You know how some people like, oh, let me be your manager energy. Like you don't know the business. You don't know how to manage money or something. You do. You do everything by yourself or something. You had you learned these things. And they thought that you would be missing a major piece because maybe this is like a twin flame or a soulmate of some sort. They had no idea that you could you could did this on your own because you was an earth angel. You had all the tools that you needed within yourself. You was already, you're royal. You came from a royal bloodline. You are, you're really high up there. You're the one with a lot of gifts or something. Yeah, somebody like so you wasn't obsessed with me. It was one sided. I was I was stalking you. So yeah, this person kept looking at looking at your stuff or following you or thinking like uh, that that I bet you thought that you know that what they say I bet you think this song is about you don't you don't no it wasn't. Somebody realized you wasn't talking about them. Because it's the way your life is going right now. You was talking about the person that they was with that was doing a lot of dumb shit. That's what they're getting now. It's like, so she was talking, you was talking about, you was the one. Yup. We got spraying rumors here. So somebody like, what the fuck? So something was only a rumor. They are so confused. <laughs> oh, God. Oh my God. I mean, laugh a bit because their life is a projection of the energy they put out because they are facing a lot of addictions. All right. You could clear your mind. Somebody could be arrested. They need to proceed with caution. We're trying to hire some. They should have proceeded with caution before they try to hire somebody to do spell work on your upgrade because you was already going to have the level up. You already leveled up before. It's like they spilled, they spent their money, which is the problem for them now. Um, on trying to take you down, but you had already leveled up. So it's like you wasn't, they thought that you needed them to level up. Like you was waiting. All right. He's like, all right, anytime now I can, this is like when you, when you get married, you, oh, I'm, as soon as I, you know how people wait to get married, some people and buy the house with their husband and. Or, um, and they like, you know, I'm going to just stay and you're like, yeah, well, you ain't never going to, I ain't never coming around because I'm doing me and I, I, you going to be stuck forever in their mind. I don't know why they thought you was going to be stuck. I'm confused by that. <laughs> like, I still don't feel the energy of you guys, um, being slackers of some sort. I mean, yes, you love somebody. Absolutely, you did. So this was like you, they knew you, that's where they fucked up at. That's what they get. Because they knew you, you adored them. So for you to have a life outside of them or have some sort of, um, something outside of them is like, what? Like you was able to move on from me. Because they can't move on from you. And they spent all this money trying to tear you down. And ain't shit changing in your life. They could even be doing love, love spells, come to me spells, whatever. And you ain't coming. They trying to figure out where, like where was they at? Where was they at to this kind of energy? 
or what, what the fuck was they thinking? Like, it was somebody in they. It's like somebody boosting somebody. Like, if they was with somebody, y'all, this person gassed them up. I'm talking about premium plus gas. Okay? <laughs> okay, with a, a shot of diesel as the espresso. Okay? Like, somebody gassed somebody hard. So they can feel like the man hundred grand, like so that they can feel like they was doing something good, something big. And the whole time, they was cutting their nose off despite their face, like for real. That's what they had. Like you, <laughs> you mean to tell me that was supposed to, like that was, so you wasn't, it's one of those energies right now. <laughs> So I was um I was in the, I was confused. It wasn't you wasn't wait a minute. <laughs> okay, this is the way this person is looking right now. They like, wait a minute. So you really wasn't like you wasn't doing love spells on me? You wasn't trying to get me out. That was just me thinking of, that was my ancestors telling me to reach out to you. So I was I was thinking about you. And it was just pinging off because you had already been disconnected from me. Ain't that about a bitch? Eh. Yeah, they didn't. Okay, so mixed signals. The signals is getting crossed because somebody was playing with this person's mind. Whoever she, the person they was with, they was playing mind games with this person. That's why they couldn't understand something. The signals got crossed. Mixed signals. They feel like shit now. Like, are you serious? So they was really healing? You really was healing? You weren't trying to get me back for leaving you or treating you the way I did? Like, this person is really getting that, that like, wow. Because maybe that's what they're used to. Toxic connections. Women doing shit like that. They not used to somebody, like, actually moving forward and healing and growing and Doing it by themselves, not laying under a thousand men because, <laughs> because you mad at me, you having revenge sex. Like, you ain't do none of that shit. You was like, say less. I'm going to go and step into my purpose. They feel like shit. Because they like, oh my God. Yep. So maybe the mirror match, it was pinging. I'm telling you, something was pinging back to them. That's why somebody was so confused. But that mirroring energy, they thought y'all both was going through that. Like, y'all both was in some, like, I don't know if you want to be, if y'all don't know. Like, somebody really was, like, moved on and energetically here. Yeah, they thought that, because if that was the case, y'all both would be in this energy. And one person is not. One person is doing very well for themselves and the other person is falling. So they're confused. Like, how come if we posted, to, if we would say this to somebody that told, oh yeah, that's your twin, that's your person, this is that and the third, and y'all would mirror every experience and this is that and the third. You had, they had already lost a seat because of what they did to you or something like that for some of y'all. They thought that you would both be having bad credit and being dead and unemployed or something. Even if this is a twin flame connection. That shit has been cut. Somebody's getting clarity now. Signs and stuff like that. Synchronicity. They're getting clarity about something here. Let's see. What's going on here? Love, hate, love, spell. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> so we got love spells, love and hate. They can't trap you. They get in the message. Sex, reckless sex, spiritual gifts. You know, okay? And what's this? Love messages about your spiritual gifts here. All right. Somebody could have thought, maybe, whatever. We're not going to go there. But love, hate, they can't trap you. Yeah. This is somebody that wants things their way. Very stubborn, ego, energy. And you could be giving somebody the bombastic side eye. All right? <laughs> 
Yeah, they found out good news that you're not heartbroken about some sort of marriage. Somebody, like I told you, somebody was gassing somebody. <laughs> Sweet talking, this person. <laughs> oh my God. Holy Spirit, divine spirit. Somebody was gassing somebody up. And they finding out the truth here. Oh my God. They are shattered. They finding out this truth is making them hurt. Ugh. Because this person really, they shattered their, you know, romantic energy. Okay. Something is shattered now. Oh my. Holy Spirit, divine spirit. What is this? They are shattered because of your security, your confidence, boss bitch, career focus, queen B. This is like, oh my God. And this was a karmic tie that they had with somebody that could, okay, so somebody did a love spell on them. Karmic tie, karmic lesson for a divine masculine. They know that you don't miss them and they was being shady because they was being shady and in their feelings. All right, you being busy bumping heads, police, you turned your back on somebody. So somebody felt like you turned your back on them. They got arrested. They felt like you turned your back on them, not knowing that you had to heal. Okay, like, I, and that's another thing I, I noticed about that. You know, if you're dealing with someone that went to, that got incarcerated or that's incarcerated, they don't understand. They, they see where they're at, but they don't understand where mentally you are. When you're hurting and stuff like that, it's like they're hurting too. But then you also have to move forward and heal. Not saying, you know, it depends on the situation. I can't, you know, you still have to live your life outside of whatever, you know, they got going on. They don't understand it. So, so this could have been somebody that felt jaded because you turned your back on them when some sort of police energy had happened or something. Let me see that again. Yeah, somebody, the reason why y'all bumping heads is because of some sort of police matter. They felt like you turned your back on and they couldn't keep you trapped and they wanted something their way. So they, you could be, they want to apologize for something here. Because they could have made you really fall, okay? Or, yeah, spiritually, because they was going, maybe they was causing, they were spiritually attacking you. Yeah. Yeah. And they're not happy that you don't want another cycle with them. Somebody was fucked up because they thought that you was dealing with women or something. <sighs> Somebody thought that you was dealing with other people, okay? And you was loving you on yourself. I don't know. I don't know how deep this is going to go. But <laughs> somebody that they have a karmic tie with them did some sort of love spell on them. And now somebody feels guilty. All right. Yeah, because this was a karmic lesson here. They could be losing sleep right now because of a wingman that's about to betray them. GPS, running mixed signals, massive regret, side hustle, divine feminine. Feels maybe you rejected them and they trying to cope with something or they're afraid you're going to reject them. So somebody mad at they homie. They know they homie ain't shit. Okay. We got a shattered confirmation. <laughs> My phone. Um, shattered and losing lack of sleep. Somebody is worried. Replaying events. Okay, about a karmic lesson. Divine masculine had to go through. Yeah. What else? I love you. Wow. Oh. Whoa. So we got I love you. And we got funeral. So this is dying love. Ooh. Ooh, wait a minute. Okay, we got Wayne Man here. Best friend, partner in crime. Covering up for them. I'm getting crime of passion. Be careful with this person. Or they'll if a wingman. Mm -hmm. Cause you career focused when you they love you to death energy. I don't know y'all. I don't like it. But we got the funeral of a wingman. Maybe the wingman. Wait, I don't know. Funeral wingman backstabbing pain. 
Deception, mind games, love bombing, GPS. Somebody on the run? Jesus. Somebody could have found out a wingman was coming towards you or... That's the funeral. Bumping heads. Oh my God, yes. Oh my God. What the fudge? All right. So somebody could be something could happen, okay? They could have threatened to take somebody out, or they did. Take it as it resonates, y'all. Or threatening you, okay? Somebody is hoping somebody don't have evidence. They could be praying somebody don't got evidence that they had secret accounts. They feel like shit because they are going through a firestorm. They could be about to go through something. Because the police could be involved now. Wingman, police involved. Somebody bumping heads right now because somebody could have tried to take somebody out. And they're hoping that you don't have... Okay, so say a wingman reached out to you or something like that and there was a conversation or somebody hoping that you erase the threads or that they can find you before they find something, some crazy sugar honey iced tea. Somebody could have had a fight or whatever. They was hoping somebody don't have evidence that they had the secret account or that you didn't screenshot anything um, or something like that. Oh, well, it's not happening. Their wish is not going to be granted. They know that. That breaks their heart. So there is some sort of evidence of an argument that y'all may have had before somebody passed away. So if somebody was trying to take somebody out, okay, there could have been some messages. They was hoping, they hope that you deleted uh, the last messages y'all had between somebody, you and them, or something like that. Hear me out. Because maybe they was planning to take somebody out or pay somebody to take you out or something like that. Hear me out, okay? And you could have uh, something that they said to you is incriminating. They could get locked up for somebody turning their back. So you ain't the one that turned their back. Somebody else turning their back on this person because they know they about to go to jail. This could be... Somebody that's heartbroken now. This person could be unsure of their sexuality or unsure if somebody is somebody kept a secret here or is going to keep a secret. You could be into a lot of self-love care. Get, somebody could got a reading done and found out that somebody lied. You were happily single and career focused and they getting karma. Jackass Jezebel is ghosted them. So people, ooh, and they under pressure. Thug, somebody going to jail? Because you freed yourself of somebody? What happened, y'all? This could be somebody in your family that wanted to come back. They can't come back around. They could have been spying on you, but some sort of police situation could have gotten involved. Drive by, spying, curious, spinning the block. So somebody, family member, your family, they family, somebody that they connected to with a family, they're no longer going to be able to spin the block or come back around because the police is involved now and people turning their back on them. Yeah. Because they know what somebody did. And they can't trap somebody. So somebody was trying to blackmail somebody. Or say somebody else did something. Oh, what the hell? Now that the police have all people turning their back on someone. Yup. So now they know somebody ain't know what the fuck they was talking about. Sweet talking in the reverse. Wingman. They can't sweet talk they wingman. Because yup. 
backstabbing betrayal here. Damn, what the hell is going on in this situation? Somebody feel betrayed here because somebody knows something. GPS tracking somebody. They was tracking you. Now they on the run. Because somebody, the signals got crossed, a.k.a. the police could have interfered in some sort of tracking you. However this is, with GPS, somebody on the run. And they're praying to God right now. That whatever money they took for to do something to a female, divine feminine, because they rejected them. They trying to cope right now. About something. Because they know that they ain't going to be able to do something. Oh my, 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 my. What the fuck is going on in this situation? Yeah, this is a divine masculine, y'all. That is learning a lesson. This is like a constant cycle of some sort with this divine masculine. So they may have told somebody in their family, if your family stops spying on them, somebody could be bumping heads because somebody knows somebody love you. They losing a lot of sleep. They heartbroken. They realize somebody didn't know what they was talking about. They didn't get their wishes granted. They feel guilty for this love, hate. They really love you. Somebody in that was, they, they had karmic ties, could have did spell work or some love spell on them. They had them all in this energy. All right. And they could be going round and around in some sort of cycle here. With a jackass Jezebel that's ghost to them because they ran out of time. Okay? Wow. This is crazy. So now your divine masculine here. It could be on a run or it's about to be. What is divine masculine? Workplace affair here. Karma. So divine masculine could have had a work face, a work play. You could have met this person. You could have worked with this person at one point in your life, or there was some sort of workplace affair here in a new city or state. They could be moving to a new city or a state here with somebody they had a workplace affair with. What's going on? Oh wow! But that didn't happen. They fed somebody's fed up. It's too late. For something to change now. Yeah. Because they was being very stubborn. They wanted things their way when it came to you, Divine Feminine. They're in their pride and their ego. They're fed up. <sighs> something feels like it's too late for them now. And them being stubborn. They know that you was side-eyed them. If they tried to apologize for tracking you after sending you mixed signals or something. I don't know what's going on with this wingman energy. I don't know if this is like their best friend that knew something about something here. But they feel like it's too late now. Yeah, to get a new cycle. They can't trap you. Yeah, we're having sex or something like that. Because you already learned that lesson. And now they're in their way. They want it my way or the highway. A wingman wants to marry you and have a new beginning or something like that. Child, I don't know. But I guess that's that's it, yeah. Oh my 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 <laughs> We got M Sagittarius. Okay, you could be a sage, they could be a sage. First last middle initial, yours it is. Your child's father failed you and they sorry. They're a karmic male. They hired a spiritual witch doctor or a hitman. This man is being watched. Beware. Damn. What the hell? PM at night. Somebody could have hired somebody at night last night to do something to somebody, baby. Baby, I'm not even. Wait a minute. They scared of you in real life because God not playing about you. God blocking all negative energy here. We got a soulmate contract that's coming for you. Mm -mm. Yeah, somebody is afraid. Somebody got dreads or braids. 
narcissist. They wanted to return your child. Return to sender times 10 on a Sunday Eve. Big dick energy. They had hidden plans of Scorpio Z. Okay, first last middle, make sure you look at this. Aquarius X. Can you unblock me? I really want to talk to you. Aquarius, full moon. Somebody scared of you in real life because you stay protected. Yeah, don't trust them. They your ops. Okay. On full moon. It's Aquarius. I don't know. I don't know if I want to be with you. Be careful that new love is here. Blue card, Aries. So right now. What do you need to know? Oh. What do you need to be aware of? Well, we know something is over. We got bro. You know, you made the right choice. You. God has put a sacred circle of light around you to protect you from all energy, lower vibrational energy, and you're safe. Leaving them behind was the best thing. Somebody missed your cooking now. Gee, Aquarius. They are shook right now, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, they know you know. Oh, Zeddy home, let them know. We got narcissists. They didn't want you to have some sort of soul contract or something like that. All blockages are removed. Somebody got a Cadillac, Chevy Mazda, or Toyota, or a Ford, some sort of car like that. We got true love. You're attracted a lot of abundance in 24 hours, B. We got F. Job well done. Somebody tried to poison you? What the heck? Somebody wanted to put poison in your food or drink. Yeah, they didn't want to let you go, but you was protected. Damn. Okay, you were protected from somebody trying to poison you. A Virgo. Yikes. He is big mad that you... You what? Okay. So... Okay. Mm, he big mad. Because they can't copy your energy. You're on your right path. This ex is stalking you. They want to fight you. A father? F? Somebody father want to fight somebody? Mm. J K and L. Mm. A fire sign is in love with you. They about to ghost you. What is the message? They are soul country. An old love he or she was doing black magic. Well, we've seen that backfire. Yeah, they wanted you to say bring your spend the night bag or something like that. So uh, I would I wouldn't, you know. Treat these like if it's X for X for a reason. I mean, like I said, it is Mercury retrograde and X is love to come back around at this time. But it's like seems like whoever you are, you learned this lesson already. So be careful of this person because uh their intentions don't feel so good. <laughs> okay, it don't feel so good at all. Okay, 
and their wingman like could have been somebody they was working with it's ghosted them or something they don't want to work with them or they not cool with them no more or something like that holy spirit divine spirit what is the message yeah we got a gemini balance and harmony being restored in every area of your life it wasn't destined for somebody to cause physical abuse or verbal abuse to an old love they just created a mess and was hoping somebody could help them fix it yeah i know you won't want me for my money so somebody could have said you wanted an ex for your their money but you already had your money your your sixth house was to be in the entertainment business the hell <laughs> so if you're reading this it's too late yeah somebody can even want somebody to be on the bl or something like that child i don't know Somebody stressed out because they know it's too late now. Yeah, because they're not single or they didn't want you to be single. Could be a sad or something. Yeah. Those uh, hexes and curses is backfiring on them. That's what they're scared of. Somebody got an STI. They was trying to find a way to run into you in the summertime on a new moon. Somebody with STI. Somebody that was not single. D. Low vibrational energy. My games is backfiring. Yeah. <laughs> they know they messed up bad. A karmic woman could be an Aries. But you learned this lesson. Let it go. And it's springtime. They supposed to learn that lesson in the springtime. Something bad could happen to them in the springtime or something like that. And they still didn't learn their lesson. They still was coming for you. Full force. <laughs> and it's like they done came for you too much. And now it's like a problem for them. Hmm. Yeah. Somebody did this for money purposes. That's the whole what the fight was about. Why somebody want to fight somebody. What's the messages here? Yeah, they envy somebody. It was a suicide mission. They've been caught. Yeah, your children love you very much. Okay, no matter what the situation is. Uh, it was a suicide mission. They've been caught. We got V and Y. Okay. Sagittarius at the bottom of the deck. Double Sag. Could be two Sages. Okay. So, I hope this helped.